share. I'm Ron, how are you? Good, and you, uh, you are still sitting here with Shirley, and we are uh, doing an interview for Lives and Legends for Ladysmith Historical Society. So do you want to go ahead and start telling us a little bit about uh, all these wonderful pictures you brought here? Yeah, well this one, uh, this was where so many people that anybody and everybody that was somebody skied up in Nanmo Lakes. This is Green Mountain Ski Lodge and it's slung down now. It was sort of uh, partly burnt and got abandoned and it was roofs falling and everything. I don't know if it's torn down now but um, then the crew from the Nanmo Frank Mays bunch were the ones that started it. And Manfred from Victoria, he was the guy, our big gun that came up and rented skis to everybody in boots and poles and and uh, he had this Austrian accent so he fit right in. So this is up in the lakes, uh, if you got this on there, this is going up into, uh, you see all the timber that was still in the lakes, this was 1967, this picture. This is K-Lines up in the Nama Lakes and this was logged up, this is Bell Creek up in behind here. Frank May had a big part in building it. I think it was a few people from the Nanaimo that were involved in it, getting it going. Do you know when it closed? Do you, do you remember uh, that? Well, it didn't really close. It just kind of burnt. Part of it got burnt down. The equipment where they were moving, like had a rope tow. Mm -hmm. This is the picture of it here. It had a little rope tow and a little T-bar. So the rope tow, there's, there it is there. You hung on to the rope and you, you get slide through your hands like this and then you uh, like that and then away you go up the hill a little ways. That's your little ski run and then they had a T-bar, a little one where you sit on you put it and you, on, you hook your bum onto it there and up you go up the T-bar. Well, in the springtime when the weather was uh, in those years in the 60s, there was lots of snow and you get a beautiful calm day. The sun would be out, I'm trying to give you a picture of this. Beautiful sunny day with about five feet of snow. And the only noise you hear is the ticking of the tea bar here, tick, 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 as it's going to, to move the people up. But compared to what they have now, this is nothing. But we thought it was a big deal to be able to go ski. Was there any other ski areas around? Like was Mount Washington open then? And, no, and uh, no, no, Aerosmith didn't put no, up No, they weren't no. going there. So this was like one of the first. Yeah, and it was too far to go. Well, there was one on Mount Brenton. And that was uh, way, way back. Um, but it wasn't too great. Uh, I'll show you a picture of the uh, Mount Brenton one after. It was uh, kind of before this, I would say, a little bit. Put that down. We got that. And yeah. we'll go back to the Mount Brenton one, the ski lodge. I'll have to find it in here because we might as well put it together the lodges around. And that's the only ones that was around here. Right? Now that we're on the program here, of ski lodge, this is one that was on Mount Brenton. And Dr. Philipson, he had um, a lot to do with this. And he used to come up from Victoria and ski up on Mount Breton. There wasn't much of a ski run, but there was uh, one tragedy there where the uh, Rover Scouts went up there in the spring and they uh, got snowed in and they tried to get up to the ski lodge. And they, uh, one of them actually died from exposure. Uh, he was a salt air boy, yeah, Don Anderson. And there was Dave. Uh, from Chimanus, I'll give you the last name in a minute here. Dave, David Thomas, he was scratching around, he lost his knife and he almost got frostbitten. And then the other one, Bob, he, um, McGregor, was able to um, get up to the ski lodge and tell everybody that was staying over in the ski lodge what had happened. So they went back out. Dr. Philipson was there too and tried to revive the young man, but he just passed away. He was stuck in the deep snow. So now this is a picture here of what the snow used to be like years ago. We don't get so much snow now. This is behind the uh, ski lodge, about oh half a mile up above the ski lodge, and the one that we had a picture of the Green Mountain Ski Lodge. And this is taken on the 5th of May, 1965, to show you the amount of snow that is still around. One of these boys is uh, Bill Hutchinson from Saltaire, of the Hutchinson farm from way, way back, from the 30s. On that, uh, and now the farm is owned by Don Porter. He bought it. Oh, that's the Porter farm. Yeah, the big the, one. No, not the one where we're up Southern Road. This is the one that was in Hutchinson's. It's on uh, the road when you go yeah. down towards Salt Air, down in that road there, <coughs> Olson Road. Is there, what's there now? Is there still a farm there? Yeah. Oh yeah. Don Porter bought it, 
And he said, it's a lot better than houses. And we agree, we don't want any more houses in Salt <laughs> before, before Don bought it, I took photos of the way it looked. It was old buildings and it was a beautiful day when I took the pictures and they turned out very well. Mm -hmm.